welcome to the channel please like share subscribe tell a friend tell a friend to tell a friend welcome to the channel again today we're going to make a roast fish stuffed with callaloo peppers onions you know, you're going to see what we're going to do. We're going to put some um, scotch bunny pepper in here as well. You know, we're going to, you're going to see. So let's introduce the ingredients to you guys as well, okay? So we have a fresh callaloo. If you can't get a fresh one, you can get it in a tin. You know, and um, for seasoning of this, you don't need a lot. Maybe you need a, just need a half a pepper, half a onion, you know, or a quarter onion, some okros, some scallion, garlic, half a scotch bunny pepper. Scotch bunny is very hot so you want to make sure you put the amount do you want inside of it, okay? Keep it the way you want it. Now we got two fish over here. So I slice them on the top. I'm going to season them. You're going to see it as well. We're going to season in the, the, the core that I core them and we're going to stuff inside with some callaloo which we're going to cook down together, okay? The callaloo we're going to cook it like maybe 60 percent we don't want to cook it all the way through because you're going to sit in there and cook more so it's, you're going to have it the right crunch and everything inside of it so let me show you how we work with the callaloo which we're going to show you how we clean it it's not hard to do it's easy to do and if you can't get the fresh one you can get the one in the tin okay yeah so you want to do that it's just like cleaning like a celery which is hard you want to go in between and these are the things, if you have these things on it, you want to take them off as well too. These little buds, these are like the seeds. Okay? So, go down. Straight. You can know when, you know, it's good enough. Like that one, you don't need to clean that one. And you go on the top, if there's a... Seeds, things like this, you pop it out like that and you can keep this let it dry and you can plant it next year and you can get color okay if you live someplace with ear on you can do that let's show you one more again so we clean it I want to go in between right here like that next one in between like that so when we come back we're going to show you we'll put stuff together okay Come back as we said before we're going to show you we put the stuff together now i already washed the color loo and finished stripped the color loo. i didn't want to show you guys all the process and you know and things so let's go into it down here so color loo, you know when they come straight like this i normally break them in two you don't have to break them just bend them try to fold them as much as you can and let's cut them and because it's going to go into the fish you want to cut them a little bit smaller then normal okay you want to make sure they cut so they can stuff in properly so you can have the right amount of fish to color all right think so right let's see Let me sure get everything cut if you have a leaf and it's not cut it's not a problem because it's gonna wilt anyway okay little thinner than the last time we make color little run down with um with dumplings, okay? Are you gonna stuff it into the fish tank? And if you don't have the fresh color, you can use the one in the tin. All you gotta do the one in the tin, try not to cook it too much because it's already cooked and it's sitting in the brine liquid. So make sure you add it the last thing in the pot, okay? And just flip it up for like five seconds of you know, and let it sit for five minutes and that's it. Try not to stir it too much or to play with it too much, okay? All right, any leaf that hasn't cut properly, pull them out. And cut them again. 
What I normally do, I try to fold the leaf in so it's more easier to work with. If you try to cut like just one single leaf, it's more difficult. When you try to put like a couple leaves together and kind of fold them around, cut better, okay? All right, color loose ready. Put it over here. So as you see before, the ingredients that we have before, it's right here. I'm gonna start dropping it into the pot. Onion and garlic first. Let it render or sweat out for a little bit. And then add the rest of the stuff. The color will go in last. Grapeseed oil. And this is gonna be for the fishes. Old Bay, salt and pepper. And I'm gonna look, put a little bit of this Bulgarian spice, which is um, oregano, inside of it, okay? All right. All right, so. We got the garlic in here rendering, you know, so we're going to add the onion now. And you can add the thyme with, with all of that too. This is the dry thyme. I buy a lot of thyme and then I plant some thyme and then I got excess thyme. So what I do, I just dry my thyme in the oven. You know, let it sit in the oven and get dry. And I think you can use it. It's still the same flavor. But you know that we always use the fresh one, you know? Yeah. So we're going to strip this out. Give me this. And you want to cut your stuff the right side so you can hold into the fish. You're going to stuff it in the side of the cavity, the, the stomach of the fish, okay? Can cook without salt and pepper, right? So I'm gonna put a little salt and pepper in. You sure? Alright, no, no. Salt is too much, okay? Don't we'll forget, we're gonna season the fish over there. Alright, that looks good. And add the rest of the stuff, add everything together. We're just trying to get this 6 to 70 percent cooked off. We don't want to cook it off completely, you know. So it's going to cook in the fish in the oven for maybe 15 minutes, 20 minutes. All uh, depends on the amount of liquid I'm going to put in the pan as well. All right. Some people add tomato to theirs now. I don't think tomato is important to put inside of it. Yeah. You can add tomato if you want. In here. Okay. And I put a piece of scotch bonnet, but I'm going to add some pepper flakes to it as well. You know, just to make it fish, you got to make it a little bit more spicy than normal. So, I'm going to put a little bit of pepper flakes. There's half a scotch bonnet in here already, but I like my fish spicy. Pepper kind of helps kill you know, that rawness into the fish or that fishy taste into the fish. Alright, that looks good. So, while this is taking this time, sweating off, we're gonna get the fish and we're gonna season up the fish, okay? Alright. Alright, so we're gonna season these up. Salt and pepper, old bay spice, and then I'm gonna dust a little bit of this inside, okay? Not on the outside. You wanna make sure you get a little bit of the spice inside of the cut, okay? Spice inside of the stomach as well. Make sure it's seasoned properly. You know? I cut both sides, you don't have to cut both sides, but I I cut both sides. Alright? Make sure it's seasoned good. Tastes good. Uh, you know, season is the most important part. If you don't season good, it's going to taste like regular uh, hospital food, which is not a bad food. Because the reason why they cook it like that, because you're sick, so you got to eat like that. You know, I'm going to dust a bit of this. 
on it. Okay. Just inside. Different flavor. Yep. When the color loo ready, we're gonna show you or we're gonna stuff it, okay? Okay, so, so this is what you're looking for in the veg. You don't want it to cook too much. You know, half the way it cook right now. And by the time I add the greens, it's gonna cook 70%. So that's what we want. So I'm dumping the greens in here. If you want, you can add some coconut milk to yours or you know, some coconut oil or whatever you want to put in there just to give it flavor for you, for your taste. You know, because you gotta adjust to your taste buds. And most of the stuff that I'm cooking, I always use probably like half an onion, you know, for everything. Half a um, pepper, bell pepper, each bell pepper. You know, so you kind of get an idea. This is just a bottle, this is one bundle, color loo right here. All right, it's probably equal to maybe a can, you know, like a 15 ounce can or whatever, I don't know. I haven't eaten can in a while since I moved from Boston, so I don't know how much is in the can. So I'm gonna stir it around, make everybody get a little bit of oil. Gonna real good already, can smell the iron in the color room. So I'm gonna let it sit five minutes. I'm gonna cover it down, let it sit for five minutes. And then you're gonna let it cool off a bit, but you don't wanna put it hot into the fish as well. You're gonna burn yourself. So you gotta stuff it in there with your hand, alright? Or you can use a spoon if you're that skilled. I can use a spoon and show you to do it, but I wanna use my hand so you guys get, you know the way that we originally do it all right and a lot of people do it a lot of different ways this is my way of doing it all right yeah all right so now we're back and we're going to show you how we're going to stuff the color into the fish fish have already been seasoning you know waiting for the color to go inside of it so let's do it all right so cavity right there you see that you don't want to put the time, you know, you can put the time in there if you want. It's not a problem. Time can go inside. Try not to make this touch the fish, okay? Cross contamination, so. You got to work diligent without to touch the fish. Alright, so that's perfect. You want to make sure you can close as well, too, okay? Right, so now we're gonna seal it and wrap it up in a file paper, okay? And I'm gonna show you a little trick when you come on to wrapping this up in a file paper, all right? You don't want the file paper to be sitting on top of it. You want it to be right a little bit so it doesn't sit on top of it. But when you pack it out, it's gonna burn, okay? And you're gonna stick to it. So I'm going to double these because you want to double them so the liquid doesn't run out. But it's going to try to run out, so you want to make sure it doesn't run out. Alright. So let's put on some more gloves and get it going. It smells really good. I know it's going to taste good. And if you want, you can put a little piece of butter on top. I'm just going to dab mine with a little bit of oil. You know, just to keep the glaze on it. So, yeah. Double. Make sure you kind of put it halfway like that. back off get rid of this you know and when you're working you're gonna clean as you go because you want your surface to be clean all the time if your surface is clean you work much better trust me 
feel like you don't have any burden, no, no weight on you. Just a little bit of oil on top, don't need a lot. And then we want to start rolling, okay? And if you if you saw this is not gonna roll properly, you set it good the way you want it, okay? Yep. Like that, like that, because you want to make sure it doesn't stick on top, okay? And this come up like that. You want to make sure you keep all the liquid in there too as well. Alright? You don't roll it too tight on the top. And this come up like that. So any liquid running out? Fluff it up back again. Any liquid run out? Can't come out, okay? It's gonna stay into the fire right like that. So that's good right there. Right here. And then we'll do the next one. This one is a little bit bigger, so we we'll need a little bit more tension than you know that one. Set so, it good. A little. Bring it back up like that. Same treatment. Try not to wrap him too tight, okay? Try to make sure there's all a little bit of room. For it to breathe, okay? Drop it up tight so that no air doesn't get into it. Hang on with this one, wrap it up tight. And just fluff him up so it doesn't stick, you know, on the fish. Alright? So that's it. We're gonna put it in the oven. I'll leave more roasting. Normally, when I'm roasting fish, is what I do, okay? So the heat can penetrate, it doesn't sit directly on the sheet tray. This is a wire rack, so sit on the wire rack like that. Alright? And I'm gonna roast it for say 15 to 20 minutes right now. And then we're gonna look at it. My oven set is 350. Okay? If your oven is not good or what is good, if you got a fan or whatever, try 350 for 15 minutes and then check it. You can go for more. Do not put it for an hour and a half and then you know, you lose your fish, all right? So we're gonna pop in the oven now. Okay, I'm on the low. We're gonna set it over here. And we're gonna put it on roast, okay? We're gonna do 350, which is already set for 350. Because it stopped. Put a timer. Don't forget a timer. Timer is very important. So I'm gonna do 15 minutes now. Just to work with you guys, but normally 20 minutes should be perfect for a roast fish. Time on, okay? You will see what it looks like when it comes out. All right, so this is the final wrap and the stuffed roast fish with kalalu, okros, and vegetables. So we're gonna open up and see what it looks like. I haven't looked at it yet, so we all gonna be surprised to see what it looks like, all right? Let's do it. Yes, man. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Nice. Only thing this is missing is a bowl of rice or we could have steamed some crackers inside of it. I'm saying some Excelsior water crackers. Nice. Couldn't be better, you know? Normally we do this outside. Or I should say, normally I do it outside in a wood or a charcoal fire, you know? But it was the oven roasted style, so. You know what we do. Don't forget to hit that notification bell, okay? So you can get a notification when I post a new video. Thank you for watching the video. Please like, share, subscribe, tell a friend to tell a friend, even tell another friend to tell a friend. Thank you.